it's new product time, Lady okay, Ada. Okay, I go into product management. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Okay, so new okay, products. The very first thing that I'm gonna mention is, don't forget the digitizer is on sale. It's at $949 and the code still applies. So you can get it for a steal deal. All right, first up, we got these. We got little alligators. Yeah, these are little alligator clips. I mean, the photos are really good. Yeah. Take a photo of it. Yeah. It's short. These are shorty alligators and the reason... Whoa. Hey. Whoa. This is the first time we're, we're using that. Okay. Go home, overhead camera. Hold on, hold on. You've had too much oh, drink. come on, sink. There okay. goes. All right. Um, so yeah, these alligator clips are shorty, and this makes them easier for um, a lot of wearable projects where you might want to um, uh, not have like crazy long wires everywhere. So if you're connecting like a Flora to a sensor or NeoPixels, um, they're just small. That's it. They're still really good quality. They have nice clips. They're there's six different colors and two of each. Good times. Okay, we're gonna keep moving along. Bitcoin stickers. Bitcoin might not be real, but these stickers are. Yeah. Yeah. Can you show the sticker? I will show the sticker. Okay. Look at this. Oh man. Yeah. Aww. It's one of those days. Um, I think if we put something else on the um, the uh, the see. the surface there. Yeah. It'll uh, it'll do better. I don't know why some days it's really good. Anyways, it's a Bitcoin sticker. It's a Bitcoin sticker. Uh, it's about this two is... inches in diameter. Yeah. It's sticky, it's you, vinyl. You guys get it. All right. Next up, we've got blinky tape. But I'll just hold this one up. So there's no, blinky tape, there's blinky no tape. risk of confusion. Yeah, well, I'm going to show a couple photos you first. You're going to show some, some photos. Yeah, I feel bad. Sometimes the, sometimes the camera's really great. Yeah. Um, so this blinky tape is basically, it's, it was a Kickstarter, and they finally fulfilled all of the obligations they had. And so I was like, okay, now that you fulfill your obligations, we can carry it. And it's basically a NeoPixel uh, with a Leonardo um, kind of embedded inside of it. And uh, it's just running this rainbow demo right now. But it's a meter long strip of tape um, and it's got a micro USB slot. So I've got the little cable connected up to it. And then I just have it um, powered up by a little portable battery pack. Um, do you want to try going to the overhead real fast? Yeah, we can try. Let's just try. Come on, it's, you yeah. can do it overhead. No, they were just no. like we're in this like no camera zone or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, hold on. Ah. Yeah. Uh, so yes, yeah, so you've got um, inside of here. There's this little microcontroller, and that's the Leonardo. And then you can see it's kind of got this waterproof, weatherproof strip. I mean, I wouldn't dunk it underwater, but it'll survive being outside. And then uh, micro USB, and so you can just power it that way, and you can also reprogram it. And you know, you can use the Arduino IDE or whatever is your favorite way to program. Um, at Megas, you can probably also use straight up C to change the um, colors and designs. And they have like painting code and demos, and they have like blinkiverse.com or something. So uh, check it out. It's kind of fun. It's just like if you want to just get started with NeoPixels and you don't want to, yeah. you know, solder things, there's no soldering involved. Okay, here. next up, we got these beautiful pie cases. So there are these really beautiful metal cases. I'm going to show some of the photos right now. Okay, go for it. Yeah, these are great photos that uh, John Janeer took. Okay. And it's this is also a Kickstarter, so we're actually starting to get a bunch of Kickstarter projects because like yeah. they once they fulfilled um, their Kickstarter requirements, because we kind of have a policy we don't uh, do anything with Kickstarter projects until after they've finished and, and everyone's happy. Just because um, it's like you know with Pebble, like having them available before everyone got theirs was um, kind of sad for backers. So. Um, this is a really nice machined aluminum case. Um, the guy who designed it, I think his father owns a factory, and so he's like, hey, you know, we have all this machining equipment. Let's make a really nice aluminum case. And it's got this little adorable uh, topper that goes on top, and it's kind of got this, like, cool, like, gridded metal look. Um, it's a nice case. I don't know. It's, it's not a huge chunk of aluminum, but um, it's pretty nice, and then you can kind of tip it over to remove the top. And uh, you can stack stuff on top of it if you have like a Pi TFT or something or an LCD. And um, we don't have it screwed in, but it can screw in the um, Raspberry Pi into these two holes here that okay. are not screwed in because we wanted to demo it. All right, next up. Oh, there's also a, uh, there's a topper that has uh, oh. slots for the camera and such. That's nice. Okay, 
Let's stop moving right along. We got some yeah. more NeoPixels going on here. Blinky, blinky, blinky. Yeah, one second. I have to change yeah. out my... So here's a photo. Here's another one. Can look thing. at the size of thing. them. Yeah, these are little... Wait, where am I? Yeah, here it is. These are little mini uh, PCBs with NeoPixel LEDs on them. Um, they're not uh, breadboardable, but, you know, if you don't mind soldering some wires, um, they're super teeny and small. Let me turn on this battery pack. Um, and I will show them off just one second. They were totally here in a baggie, which was so small that I can't find it. Ah, here they are. Um, turn this off. So yeah, these are little, uh, little LEDs. Um, the PCB is really small, so this is basically the smallest uh, way you can get a NeoPixel. Uh, and on the back are uh, pads that you can solder to, um, inputs and outputs. And they're just like super teeny and, and low cost because of that. Um, there's no extra components on them other than like a little capacitor. But like if you just want like really teeny, uh, they're little buttons. I mean, they're not okay. push buttons, but they're little. I'm gonna keep moving on to more Blinky. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, we have more Blinky things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so next up. Hold on, this is now going away. What are these Lady Ada? These are white matrix LEDs. Um, and these are 8x8 eight eight multiplexed white LEDs. Um, we got a really good LED supplier, um, so we can now offer them at a reasonable price. Do you want me to show the, these yeah. other ones too? Oh, yeah, the, can you show the overhead? Oh, you want me to go to the yeah. overhead? Okay. Um, so, yeah, they've got this like yellow phosphor on top of them, and on the back there is, uh, oh no, there is 16. Um, uh, pins and uh, they're multiplexed eight by eight. Maybe we can go to. Um, Let's go to the photo. This photo, yeah, I'll show you the photo. I lost my. Um, oh, can you uh, hide the hide us? Uh -huh. Yeah, so you have eight by eight, and you can see there's a little circuit board inside, and then um, the LEDs are multiplexed, and so it's not like you turn one pin on and an LED turns on. You actually have to have a driver that controls the LEDs and multiplexes through them to turn them all on. And for that reason, we have a backpack, which is actually what I'm going to show, because it's, uh, and that's in the next set of photos. Okay, great. So this one? Uh, yeah, so it comes with a driver PCB, and um, the driver actually kind of does all the hard, annoying stuff, which is lighting up all the LEDs in order. So now I can see if it shows up on the overhead. Yeah. Okay, there you go. So yeah, yeah, um, you yeah. can actually see it's flickering because it's, uh, it, it's not noticeable to people, but because of the camera refresh rate. So it has um, 64 total LEDs, and you know, we're using the I2C backpack. You use only I2C, and you can control up to eight of them. And we, you know, we have backpacks for all sorts of LEDs, but now we have white. And I think this is a really beautiful white. It's a really like, cool white, a clean white color. And um, you can stack a bunch of them in a row to make like a scrolling display. We have code examples for that as well. Okay. Okay. Next, uh, um, this is the big announcement. This is the big product. This is it. This Introducing is it. Trellis. This is Trellis's logo. Trellis is a new open source button platform. Um, yeah. Here is Trellis in action. And um, I'm going to show just some photos of the board itself as yeah. they do to get set up. So, yeah, let me explain just in case the, yeah, the overhead so. is, is being naughty. So there's these rubber buttons um, that are like rubbery elastic buttons, kind of like you see on the, like a washing machine or like a calculator or whatever. Um, and they come in a grid of 4x4, four four, and they're 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters. And then there's 5 millimeters in between. So it's like, you know, whatever two and a half inches by two and a half inches um, by like a, a quarter of an inch tall. And then um, each button is made out of this kind of translucent uh, silicone. Um, and so you, and there's a little cavity inside of it. And so you can fit an LED inside. So if you have a circuit board with LEDs um, that are spaced the right way, and then you have these conductive uh, pads that can be um, bridged with the elastomer, you can make uh, a four by four grid that's illuminated. And so it's actually a, a two part thing. There's the rubber button and then there's a circuit board. The circuit board actually handles the button pressing and the LED lighting. The last one doesn't have any intelligence in it. It's just like, 
just like rubber buttons. Like it's, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. It just has these little contacts that can close the switch. And it has the, the, the button effect because it's got these, uh, the way it's, it's machined when you press the button, it has a little, a nice little button press effect. I don't know what's a, there's some name for it, but it has a little like um, spring, like a live hinge spring in it. Um, and so the circuit board is what actually does all the hard work of lighting all the LEDs in order and reading the switches. And then if you combine that with an Arduino, which does the actual brain power, you can for example, light up the LEDs when the buttons are pressed or alternate the LEDs when the buttons are pressed um, yeah. and good stuff like that. Okay, let's try to go to so the So let me try to go to the overhead. Okay. And now I'm going to turn this, yeah. So this makes it show up a little bit better. So I can press the buttons and- um, This is a cool demo. They will turn on. So this is the demo that I wrote. This is a demo called like latching demo. So this turns on the LEDs on and off. And um, this is just one square. So this one square is four by four and then the button's on top. But if you want to go uh, crazy, because who doesn't want to go crazy, you can uh, update it to do up to eight of these panels tiled together. So maybe we have a photo of the tiling at the uh, bottom. Did we get, get a photo? No, okay. but no maybe, maybe you can show it off. I'll just show it off. Hold on. Yeah. I do have to move everything out of the way though. So give me one second. So, okay. Big demo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. So this is, um, so you can see here's that circuit board. You see the LEDs. And then this one has the elastomer on top. And then you can press all these buttons and each one will light up. And it's like glorious and blinky. So this is a four, this is a two by two for four total. Um, but of course you can have uh, eight total. And I just uh, didn't want to solder more up because I was busy doing the tutorial. Um, and it's kind of flickery because there's the refresh, but that doesn't actually show up in real life because it's uh, refreshing faster than people can see. Yeah. Um, let me turn off that so that'll look really good. That's okay. cool. I think that, uh, one more. Okay. So yeah, and I can, it's a little flickery, but um, it's much brighter. So yeah, you can, you can make projects that have these elastomers and you can have up to eight by 16 um, or uh, four by 32 grid of LED buttons. And um, this is for people, because people are asking us like, well, they want to build like DIY um, music controllers, kind of like the Monom or a yeah. Kai launch pad or, or other similar um, grid controllers, but they wanted to use an Arduino and they wanted to have um, fairly small buttons, but um, customizable LEDs. And so this is a kit where you can change the color of LEDs by swapping whatever color, three millimeter LEDs you wish. Um, you don't have to use, you know, yellow or green or whatever. You can use the white and the blue look really good. Um, they're kind of too bright here, but they but they yeah. look really nice and sharp. It's fantastic in person. Great, like, grid it any way you want. The buttons yeah. are very it's squishy. Be it's beautiful. And um, they have a nice little tack effect, but you don't hear it. It's not like a loud yeah. sound. But when you click it, you really feel that clicking effect. Um, so I really like these. Um, Tiles, and so the, I think what's cool is that you can just connect as many as you want. Because that's what people were asking for. They're like, "Well, maybe I want to make an eight by eight, but maybe I want to make an eight by 16. And yeah. um, for advanced users, you can actually make a sixteen by sixteen if you do soft I squared C on two pins, and then hardware I squared C on other two pins. Uh, we just don't have a tutorial yeah. for that yet. But it is possible to build a, a sixteen by sixteen grid of LEDs. But as of right now, we only have code for eight by sixteen. So that's the max size of eight, eight grids total. Okay. Um, that is new products. Thank you, Lady Ada. Yay, Oof. I got through okay. them.